Hello, hello everyone. Now, let me just uh, change right. Oh, come on, there we go. <laughs> I just, just went right in there. <laughs> right, right, sorry about that. <clears throat> hello everyone, how you doing? Hope you guys are having a good day so far. So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, as you can see, I'm bringing back the model for now at least. Because we still need to finish off with uh, this game that we're going to be doing. All right. The last stream, which was uh, uh, Wednesday, we did some good progress in the uh, Scoundrel Sloth Force, I'd say. Yeah. Again, didn't manage to do many any bonus missions as, uh, again. Because of how much uh, long it takes just to complete one level with just one slopper. But uh, no deal, we'll worry about that later. For now, we are gonna be hopefully finishing off with Ratatouille on PSP. Yeah, I think we should, there should only be one more level they have to worry about. Yeah, right, yeah, probably that. And then, uh, if that doesn't take too long, which I'm pretty sure it shouldn't, we are gonna be going back into another game where we had already previously finished, but I didn't finish it properly. I didn't finish it uh, for hundred percent. So I'm going to start going back to it. Yeah, we're gonna be switching right now. from now on. We're gonna be switching between <coughs> brand new game and uh, a game that I've completed. Before, I did before, but I haven't completed. <coughs> which in this case is gonna be uh, gonna be both Kingdom Hearts two, which is what we're doing right now, and Sonic Heroes. Yeah, it's already been a year since I it's already been a year since I went through Sonic Heroes, goddamn. But I didn't complete fully complete that game. I only managed to do until the until the final battle. Yeah. There's still other shit that we had to do like hard mode and super hard mode or very hard mode later on. Ugh. Right for that needs need to rank up some A ranks. But that that's for it that boy. Right, right now, we are going to have to worry about uh, first finishing off with Ratatouille. Now, with all that said and done, let's go straight to it, shall we? Let me just uh, pop this up. Let's see if this works here. That should do it. Here we go. There we get so should be good so far. Yeah, I think we should be almost done with the game. And then unfortunately we're gonna have to uh, cut this stream up uh, a, little soon, a little soon and then uh, go, go back on online so that I can go back going at 60 frames and also changing the model. Oh, this should be good. oh I see. We might check that out later. Let's see. That's impressive. This piece for the first piece for the first piece for the first piece. Oh, I see, I see. I'll be checking those later. Who cheats? Bonus clip? Wally teaser. Oh, I see. I see. There's some extra stuff that we're gonna have. Yeah, there's some extra stuff that we're gonna have to check out once we're 100 done with the game. Wait, did I have? Do I have all the uh, upgrades? And why is why are you not saying anything? It's because I already bought everything from. All right, all right. But let's switch to the last, the last level. Big trouble in little kitchen.
He has hidden a recipe in with the cookbooks. Get it while he's not paying attention. Hmm. Right, but pay attention. Pay attention to the the last two keys that I'm also missing. Is that crystal? Doesn't look like it. No, well, I think it's someone else entirely. I don't think there's anything else around here. Bitch. Fuck off. Yeah, let's see if I can finish off this fight and the final and the final boss uh, quick enough. So we have some time for Sonic Heroes. Ouch. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. Mm. How's this here? Maybe for later. Probably gonna be for later. Yeah, I already see already see a path up there. Yeah, it's probably gonna be for later. Bitch. Lobsters. Fuck off. Oh, fuck wait. And uh, now you're not such a fucking bitch when I have to deal with the goddamn ice physics in the previous level. Ugh. Remy, I have been thinking, and here's what you need to do. Use things in the kitchen to ruin the food being prepared. You will cause chaos. Yes, it is perfect. Then you will have a chance to grab the recipe. Hmm. Alright, alright. Can I... Wait, did this go on? No, it doesn't change at all. I was seeing if the audio, the game's already changed, uh, depending on how high the uh, the computer audio was. No, I don't think that's how it works. What the fuck? I can't even see shit. Goddamn camera. fucking see the shit because the camera wasn't helping Fuck, am I not supposed to? How the fuck can I hit him with that? Ew, what the hell? Remy, that towel looks odd. I wonder why there's a bug on it. Towel? Oh, a towel. Up there? Oh, I see, I see. I need to climb the towel, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, odd. Oh, odd. Hmm. Even, even right at the end of the game, still, the game, even right at the end, it still needs to, uh... Ow. Ow. 
Oh, fuck it. It still needs to show to the game still needs to show where the fuck to go and shit. The game still needs to give you explanation for shit right, even right at the end. That's it. Okay, thanks for wasting my time. What do I need this for? Hmm. Probably for something that I don't know yet. Probably. <coughs> Remy's those fans! <laughs> Why am I telling you these things? You know everything there is to know! Why the fuck are you still wasting my time, man? Hmm? Like that. I'm sure there is something up ahead. We're gonna sabotage the cake. Good garlic, alright. Oh, where's the batter then? Oh, I see. up here pretty sure it's just uh yeah it's just it's just health yeah i don't need it all right that was over here yeah i already hear the key somewhere somewhere around here That's the other guy from the movie. What the fuck has he been doing now? Is this the cake pal? Fuck off. Do you mind? Fuck me. Press the button, it doesn't fucking attack. Straight back here. Thought that was something new. Ow. Fuck. Oh. Okay, head back. There we go. How the fuck are you supposed to pass this ass without getting hit? Mm. 
Okay, let's try that again. This time, remember, not drop down. There we go. The fuck? Uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm stuck in the chain. Ah, for fuck's sake. No, great. No, I'm probably gonna have to restart the level. Ah. What the fuck? I'm stuck. <sighs> great. Alright, restart. Yeah, yeah, shut up. What the fuck? How the hell did I get stuck in that shit? Hey, yeah, I pass all these assholes. Rewind on the way. What the fuck I need that guard for? Still can't get up there, I think. Or can I? No, no, think I don't think I can yet. Mind jumping, thank you. Other way. Okay, try this again. This time, don't get stuck. wasn't helping again. Dude, what the fuck is going on here? And what is going on with the frame rate? Ah, that would be perfect to ruin that tasty casserole in the oven. What the soap? Can I just walk? Nope. Get back up. And I hear another key. Okay, 
God damn, what the fuck's going on with the frame rate? Why can't I? Why is he not grabbing that? Come on. How the fuck do I get up there? There's nothing here that I can grab onto. Get up. Maybe later? Doesn't look like it. How do I get up there? If I was able to fucking walk up, but I can't. Cool. Uh, get the higher ground. Yeah, probably. There we go. Bitch. Fuck off. Bitch. Let me alone. Get the other one. Where am I supposed to put the garlic in there? Yeah, I think that's what it is, but how the fuck am I supposed to get that one key then? Yeah, I think that's where, yeah, I think that's where it was the garlic. I think it was on the other side. Oh, 
not the frame rate. What the fuck's going on? Why is it chugging so badly here? Do you mind? Fuck me! Man, where the fuck is that damn soap? Is it over here? No, it wasn't the soap, it was the garlic. Here we go. Let's try out my oh, fuck you. Ah! Wait, wait, fucking mine. Leave me alone. Wait. I just need to take all the way all the way uh, to the to the, the other room. I'm a fast enough for least for these things. Barely. Do it. This is terrible. Why on earth didn't you follow the recipe? We did it. Now is your chance, Remy. Go get that recipe. I thought I finished this off. Let's head straight to the final boss. Do it. Yeah. There was a, a chest with 50 on it, but with, where was it then? Now I need to find out where it was. I think it was here? Mm, yeah, I think that's the one. Here we go. Yink. Oh, that's missing is one more recipe. Let's check. Yeah, 95%. We're well, almost done. Fast food? We wouldn't want you to get in the way of our big night, would we? <laughs> oh, shit. Right. Go, go, go. Keep going, just keep going, don't worry about the enemies, just keep going. Missing those things. Ow, fuck you. Keep running away. Fuck you, run away. I already did one lap. You. Oops, the fuck? Alright, go, 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 go. Nope. Okay, nice. Keep going, keep going. Shit. Shit! No! Fuck! Got stuck again! No, ah, damn it! We would want you to yeah, great. And I have to do the whole. I have to do the whole three laps in one go. Fuck me! Wait, if I if I get stuck on that thing, I'm I'm pretty much fucked. Oh, 
Thank you. Stuck on foot. Okay, he's so far. Uh, fuck you. Don't forget about that shit. I don't want to fall on it again. Damn it. Get out. I don't even remember where it was. He was here. Yeah, here we go. Don't forget about the other one. Here we go. Okay, good. So far. Good. Boy, a boy. Okay, almost there. Almost done. There we go. God damn, that one was stressful. Uh, didn't I already have all the recipes? Guess not. Oh, guess who's coming to Skinner? to disorient him so that you can get away if you're lucky he might even hurt himself <laughs> yeah, yeah. final boss i guess good good and fuck off and bitch. Oh. Oh. Ah, damn it. There we go. Fuck off. I'll get you for that. Oh shit. Good. 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 Oh boy. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, ow. I didn't even fucking see that. Shoot. Oh boy. Oh wait, I have to fucking stand on that thing. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Faster there. 
Jo. Gut. I can't, can't even fucking see. Yes, not. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh. Come Stop getting stuck in there. Oops. Almost my fucking health back. Alright, not too bad, not too bad for a final boss. I'll get you, you little disease infested rodent! <laughs> oh, hello, sir. Uh, 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 there's been a slight delay in the presentation, but rest assured, you'll soon be amazed at the taste sensation of my new frozen food line. You must be joking. This place is a mess. And these recipes, are these Gusteaux's? Oh, uh, just a no, no way about it, really. I have some samples in the freezer. Just give me a mo No. It seems the rumors are true. You must know, sir, that I will recommend that my company cancel your line of frozen foods. Good day. No, wait. <laughs> uh, please, just give me a second chance. <laughs> yeah, right. We're gonna skip the cut, the credits, because I'm pretty sure how this how the game works is that uh, it doesn't think they have all the recipes until you fin until you get until you finish off the final boss. So the only way to get the secret ending, which yeah, the game does have a secret ending for getting everything, you have to do the boss. Uh, uh, Twice. Let me listen. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Hi, this dumb for some. What a fucker. Damn it. Damn it! They're fucking out of the way! Oh, bitch! Come on! Remember, the first phase is a little slow. This part, anyway. Nope. Nope. Oh, shit. There we go. Okay, fuck off. 
peu. Okay, as you keep fucking this up. Shit. Okay, now he's going fast. You shit. Good. And fuck off. Okay, almost there. Come on. Ugh, don't get stuck in that shit. Ow. Is it? There we go. I'll get you for that. Ouch. Shoot. Nope. And bye. Okay, that should do it. Got it. Yeah, strain is fucking going. Now let's see if the secret uh, cutscene shows up. Get you, you little disease-infested rodent! Oh, hello, sir. Uh, uh, there's been a slight delay in the presentation, but rest assured, you'll soon be amazed at the taste sensation of my new frozen food line. You mm -hmm. must be joking. Yeah, yeah, we always This place is a mess. And these recipes? Are these Gusteaux's? Oh, uh, just a misunderstanding. I have some samples in the freezer. Just give me a mo- No! It seems the rumors are true. You must know, sir, that I will recommend that my company cancel your line of frozen foods. Good day. No! Wait! Uh, please, just give me a second chance! <laughs> Alright, let's see if the, the extra machine <laughs> Scene pops up. Yeah, there we go. Wow, this is great, little chef. I knew you'd be able to save the day. Wait, one of them is missing. Ratatouille sounds like a perfect name for our new restaurant. Okay, why do cutscenes look like they're made from the from the like a '90s commercial? There we go, now I can probably show these fucking credits. So yeah, that was Ratatouille. The PSP version at least. But yeah. <laughs> Do not let those cutscenes fool you. Okay, that game. Cutscenes are pretty bad. Are pretty bad, even for, even for PSP standards. I'm pretty sure you would, you would be able to afford some, higher, some better quality cutscenes for this game. Because the game itself isn't too bad, man. It's a bit, it's a bit long. It's a bit long with the levels, uh, some of them at least. And yeah, one of the final, the final ones is pretty, pretty fucking. Bad. Uh, one of the final ones was pretty fucking bad. Not gonna lie. Uh, the one with the ice levels, yeah, the ice fall, the ice physics, yeah, that was pretty fucking bad. It's probably like the worst level in the game right there. But besides that, the game is. Somewhat fun still. What the fuck is that? Is that a kid? Or is that Remy? No, that's Remy. That's probably weird there, what the hell? But yeah, uh, the game is, the game is still fun. If you're, if you're looking for like a very basic platformer, even yeah, more basic than uh, Mario 64. Yeah, like, yeah, pretty fucking basic. But... It's, it's harmless, I guess. It's a uh, it's a product of, of the time, the time where anything anything that had uh, Pixar's name on it, they would have to have a fucking game attached to it. And Ratatouille was one of the one of them. One of them that had a shit ton of versions. I like, got them. There's like five ver five different versions. Of Ratatouille, of Ratatouille the game. Yeah, I think there's like Game Boy, yeah, Game Boy Advance, DS, which is the one that I have. 
this version, the one on uh, PS2, uh, Wii, GameCube and Xbox, and then the one on PS3 and Xbox 360. Yeah, there's like five versions. And I think the one on PC is the same as, as the PS2 version. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Five different fucking versions just to have pretty much almost any any console at a time to have a rat tattooing on it. Was I don't think <coughs> Where's what do you uh that's all, all, something that I always wonder. Are these uh movie tying games always, uh, any any successful at all? It might be. They just keep making them. They just kept making them at the time. They probably were. Mm. I had to guess though, I'm pretty sure you, the, the version that sold the better was probably on the Wii, PS2, the NDS. Because I'm pretty sure not many people had, had back then had owned the PSP. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Alright, let's check. Yep, 400%. Hell yeah. Alright, let's get out of here and check um, some of the other extra stuff. Testing, that we have. One, two, three. Hey, is this thing working? Oh, here's more stuff. I'm pretty sure these are just the normal cutscenes, right? Yeah. Well, some of them are. I'll show I'll show off the, the new ones. Market, rooftop, restaurant. It's gonna defeat it. One hundred percent complete. Ah, here we go. Bonus cut. Awesome. Yeah, I still have internet on on my phone. Hold on, let me turn that off real quick. There are these bonus clips. Are these from the movie? Yeah, act five extra. Designing the movie. I love the idea that the movie set in Paris and uh, and in the French countryside. It's just such a rich area of design and history. The limestone buildings are just oh, I see it. The are these like and the, and the granite streets extras from like the DV from like the DVDs so and shit? When the, that, really when the movie when the movie was released on DVD and, sh and shit like that. Awnings across cafes and they just really grabbed your eye and they were just really appealing. There's a little bit of an upstairs downstairs thing going on where up above Paris, beautiful, and then down below. And that's kind of the rat world. A little cold yeah, I think that's what this is. I guess this the game was released always around the, the same time as the movie, so the this was where humans one out. way of getting these extra stuff before Another the DVD came out. Element was yeah, yeah, kind of the same thing as they did the back in the I 90s, like one of the PS1 really games where they would like, the like one of the collectibles of the games you you just have tones, to scenes from the movie before the, the, the movie would be on, on VHS tile, and DVD. The floor is tile, the stoves are black. It's designed to make the food look great, but also the copper pots look great in this environment and the chef's skin tones look great. Alright. What else do we have? Animating a rat's name? Ratatouille thing? takes place in modern day Paris, France. You know, food is king and it's a beautiful city. And the beauty of the city kind of contradicts what it's like to be a rat. You've got this grungy, nauseating, disgusting place that the rats live, and then you have this pristine kitchen environment. These worlds come together via Remy's desire to cook in this five-star French kitchen. It's a bold move, I think, to have rats as your main characters. A lot of people, I think, uh, find them repulsive. I don't want to talk about the tale. What about my adorable peach fur covered little ears? You know, no one ever asked rats about that. For us, it's a matter of doing a lot of reference, really. It's, it's looking at a lot of real rat footage. People have brought in their pet rats. Which yeah, I doubt any of this is related to the game, except for more, more in the movie. It's just said that it's more related to the movie. Rats in the animation department, and uh, they're endlessly entertaining. And we've been videoing those rats and looking at that footage. Not necessarily copying it, but taking the spirit of, of what makes a rat a rat. How quickly they move and, and all of the little fidgety traits. Our main character, Remy, 
he has this amazing sense of smell. And he picks out the food that all the rats in the tribe can eat. But Remy is very interested in fine food. He wants to be a five-star French chef. The rats are traditionally kind of takers. They're hiding, they're sneaking, they're stealing little things. And the chefs are givers. They're creating things and presenting them to people. And Remy is a real giver. Interesting, yeah. At least a way to show off some concept art of, of the movie. I thought it would have been more interesting to see like concept art of early draft of the movie when before all the shit was cut off. And yeah, many anyway, French flavor. One of the things I think that's really interesting about the film is that it has this European flavor to it. The art department on this film spent a lot of time studying French faces and French culture. To find out what makes French people move and act and talk, etc., like French people. And actually the shoulders are much more involved and it's, it's, it's a little more um, all body inclusive language. We're working on doing our homework to, to be a little more authentic with, with some of the gestures, especially with the, the chefs. Watching films, going to Paris. We've gone in groups to take cooking classes. We've gone to observe real kitchens to get the, the vibe and the spirit behind a working kitchen. We've studied the way people move, not only on the small details, the way they fry things, or the way they'll saute, or the way they'll use their rags to clean things up, but also as a whole, how the whole kitchen will move as a body. It's like a living organism. It really is this choreography, this dance, that everybody has their spot, and they're all doing their thing, but they're all doing it together. Okay, interesting. So yeah, it wouldn't be surprising. It wouldn't be surprising if they they said they did research on this. I mean, come on, it is Pixar. They 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 take uh, the de they take the like the most details and shit. What else? A portrait of a mule. Why a mule? Our biggest challenge with these rats is to make them feel like they're not little tiny humans. So in order to do that, we looked to the real rat's anatomy. There's a lot of mass between where their skeleton is and where their skin is. So what you get is kind of this blob of this animal that can change shape almost, that can squish themselves up and stretch themselves out. And so we call that sort of the squishiness. And we've been working really hard yeah, to keep these characters stretch. squishy. And I think that's what's going to make this movie what it is. It's that combination of really strong heart with a little layer of silliness on top of it. Because it is a rat who wants to cook. And we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Why a meal, though? Is that like a te teaser to Wally? A teaser to Wally. Introducing the all new Wall E from By and Large. Waste. Leave the world and your cares behind. When was, when was Wally released? I think Retta Tweet was 2006 and then Wally was 2008. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Allocation. Wally's improved stacking capability allows it to construct space effective towers. Yeah, that's another, that's another Pixar movie that got shit on game to versions. Load. With a storage capacity of 2,744 cubic inches and top speed of 30 miles per hour, Wally can output one cube of waste every 10 seconds. Lifter. Independent and adaptable suspension allows Wally to adjust to any terrain and carry the heaviest of loads with ease. Okay. A good stuff on Earth, right? Earth class. Design. What the fuck is it separate then? So sit back, relax, and enjoy the stars. When you return, Earth will be waiting, even better than when you left it. Wally. 
working to dig you out. Wally is a product of the By and Large Corporation, all rights reserved. Wally is not designed to function underwater in lunar gravity or in active lava flows. For a demonstration of Wally's many other functions, please visit any By and Large showroom or voice command your hollow screen to www.byandlarge.com. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably like an old website. That's probably not another thing anymore. Right, what else do we have? Recipes? Remy's famous omelette. Huh, well look at that. A full fucking recipe. Wait. This is recipes provided by Family Fun magazine for this piece of what's cooking published by Disney Press. Is this part of them? Is this from an actual ratatouille cooking book? Hold on. Hold on, let me search that up real quick. Is this from an actual cooking book that's licensed by that's has a lot of in it? Hold on. Ratatouille, what's cooking? It's not a cooking book, it's a CD. What? Hold on. Musical tour of tasty tunes. Is this the game soundtrack or some shit? A companion piece to Disney Pixar's Ratatouille. I see Jerry Mary Foon by Red Imperial Potation. Yeah, get up. Get up. Yeah, fucking. Get up. God damn it. Fucking shit. On the sights. Got cookies and shit. Come on. Where is it? What's mm -hmm. cooking? Presents a set of enjoyable food themed songs. Many of the tunes on the collection feature Pixar regulars Fred Mullen and the Boosie Band. See the live. Finally, one meter. Ball and French fries making the album ideal for fans of Cars, Lightning McQueen's Fast Tracks, and Finding Nemo Ocean favorites. So, it's not a cooking book, but it's like brand new songs in the theme of the movie? Okay, what the, what the fuck does that have to, what do these things have to do with that? Where, the, where, is, the, where is the recipe the entire lyric? Okay. Let's see what we got here. Remy's famous omelette. Two eggs, two teaspoons water, a pinch of salt, one tablespoon butter, one half cup omelette filling seed oil. This is an advanced recipe. Make sure a grown up helps you out. Crack the eggs into a small bowl, add the water and salt, and use a fork to beat the mixture until just blended. Ask a grown up to help you eat your frying pan on medium high. Add the butter and spread it over the entire bottom of the pan as it melts. Pour the beaten eggs into the pan and cook the omelet, following the step-by-step -step directions in Gusto's tip below. Mix one omelet. Favorite omelet fillings. Steamed broccoli, grated cheddar cheese and chopped cooked ham, fresh chopped herbs such as chives, basil or parsley, and cottage cheese, Diced cooked chicken or turkey with diced green or red peppers, crisp bacon bits and shredded cheddar cheese. Gusto's tip, how to cook an omelette. Wait for the bottom of the eggs to cook a little, then gently push the eggs away from the edge. Tilt the pan so the uncooked egg runs into the spot you've created. When the omelette surface looks almost cooked, add the filling over half of it. Slide the spatula under the point half and fold it over the filling. The eggs should now be fully cooked. To serve, tilt up the pan handle and slide the omelette out of the pan and onto your plate. 
Okay. That's it's probably like four fucking recipes. I don't know if you can actually cook anything with these. This is cannot to... I have to keep pressing the damn button. Linguini Alfredo with peas. One pound linguini. Type please. Four tablespoons butter. One cup of cream. Two thirds cup freshly grated Parmesan cheese. One half teaspoon salt. And you got nutmeg. Mm, boil the linguini according to the directions on the package. The last minute of boiling. Add the frozen peas, strain the cooked pasta and peas, set aside. To prepare the alfredo sauce, bring the butter and cream to a boil and immediately lower the heat so the mixture gently simmers. Cook the sauce, stirring occasionally for about 4 minutes or until it leaves a thick coating on the spoon. Stir in the grated cheese, salt and nutmeg. Dish out the cooked linguine and peas. Top it with alfredo sauce, serves for. Uh, I'll probably just read the first six and then just scroll to the other, to the other. Otherwise, it's gonna take fucking forever to read all this. Scargut. Seven, seven halves ounces of canned snails drink. Canned snails? I mean, canned snails. One half, one half cup butter. Uh, half a cup butter. Two tablespoons dried parsley flakes. One clove garlic chopped finely snail shells. Set the butter out to warm to room temperature and then stir until it becomes fluffy and creamy. Then add parsley and garlic. For each shell, first put a damp fourth, a fourth teaspoon of the seasoned butter. Top with a snail, then fill out the shell with more of the butter. Repeat for each shell. The scarlet on a tray or pan and place in the oven for 15 minutes at 375 degrees and serve. Add a dash of pepper to taste. Man, I'll read the other three and then we'll just show off the rest. Easy fall, sky good. Fall sky good, is that you say? Hold on. Maybe to pull out the translator. French translator that is. Fake snails. Ooh, fusk, fuiskago. Fu is this, fu is cargo. Fu is, is it? Fu is cargo. Easy, fu is cargo. Fake snail, I guess. Mayonnaise or whipped cream cheese, large tortilla, square if available, lettuce or baby spinach, sliced deli meat of your choice, sliced cheese of your choice, gherkin pickles, chives. Mm, if necessary, trim the rounded edges of the tortilla to make it square and spread the thin layer of the mayonnaise or cream cheese on top. Layer on the lettuce or spinach, then the meat and cheese and roll it up tightly. The seam on the bottom slice the tortilla into two inch wide pinwheels. For the heads, cut a pickle in half at an angle. Poke two small holes in the uncut end and stick pieces of chive with knots at one end in each hole for antenna. Slip each pickle half under the edge of a pinwheel, securing them together with a toothpick if necessary. Makes four to six pinwheel sandwiches. Okay, Remy's macaroni and cheese. One pound elbow macaroni cooked according to package directions. Butter for greasing the dish. Three cups half and half or whole milk. Twelve to eighteen slices of American or cheddar cheese. Twelve Ritz crackers, salt, pepper and paprika to taste. Heat the oven to 350 degrees and grease a 13 by 9 inch baking pan or a large casserole dish. Spoon a third of the cooked macaroni into the pan, then pour in one cup of the half and half or milk and cover everything with four to six slices of the cheese. Add two more layers of pasta, half and half or milk and cheese. Place the crackers in a zip baggie and crush. 
Add the salt, pepper and paprika, then sprinkle the crumbles on top of the pasta and cheese. Bake until bubbly, about 35 to 45 minutes. Make 6 to 8 servings. Hmm. Alright, last one. Kishwari? Kishwari? Hold on. Kish Wohrein, Wohrein. Sorry, it was Wohrein, not Wohrein. Lohrein. Lohrein? Lohrein, alright. One pie crust in the 9 inch pie pan. 3 eggs, 1 and a third cups of half and half or whole milk, half to a teaspoon salt, or a teaspoon black pepper, 4 strips cooked bacon. 2 cups grated cheese, your favorite kind, or Lorraine Swiss cheese. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Whisk the eggs, half and half or milk, salt and pepper in a large bowl. Crumble the bacon and sprinkle it in the pie shell. Sprinkle on about half of the grated cheese. Ladle the egg mixture over the filling, then sprinkle on the remaining cheese. Bake at 375 degrees on the center oven rack until slightly puffy and golden brown, about 40 to 45 minutes. Serve warm at room temperature or cold, it makes 8 servings. Right, we, what else we have? Rogs legs, Gustillo's grilled cheese, dirt cake, Picture C, Remote Remote, Cherry Cheesecakes. I'm just gonna let the uh, uh, slowly wet it boy. So there's footage of it, of the other full uh, recipe. Still grilled cheese. Oh fuck, I'm gonna read the, all this. I'm gonna need some water though. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, need some water for all this shit. Do I even need that control? Uh... No, that's one thing. Alright. Frog's legs. One egg, half teaspoon salt, two pound frog legs, uh, one pound cup corn wheel, one eighth teaspoon pepper, half cup cooking oil. Or, you know what? I'll, uh... How do I sound? The uh, I'll go into the up audio. Turn off the music for now. this point. Oh, it's gonna be the same fucking song. Let's see. Mm. Take the egg and beat it. Pour the cornmeal into a bowl, then add the egg, salt and pepper and beat it into a batter. Coat the frog legs in, in, with the batter by dipping them, and then fry them in a skillet with the cooking oil at 375 degrees. Turn so they brown evenly on all sides. Mm, that sounds definitely sounds like a fucking French thing. Eating f uh, f 
frog legs. So grilled cheese. One pat butter, two slices of bread, one slice of cheese. Ask your grown up to help you melt the pat of butter in a frying pan. Assemble the sandwich by placing the cheese between the two pieces of bread. Carefully place the sandwich in the pan. Grill the sandwich on the first side for about 3 minutes until golden brown. Then flip it with a spatula and grill it on the second side for another 3 minutes. Using a spatula, transfer the sandwich from the pan to a plate, slice it in half and serve. Next one. Yeah, I guess just regular grilled cheese, I guess. Gusto's tip. Cooking cookie cutter cheese toast. Heat the oven or toaster oven oven to 350 degrees. Place two slices of whole wheat bread on a cookie sheet or toaster oven tray and top each with a slice of cheese. Cut out shapes using cookie cutters. Place the cookies in the oven and heat until the cheese melts. Serve warm or place in plastic bags when cool for a portable snack. Hmm, alright. Something new, I guess. Oh, what the fuck is a dirt cake? One big 13 by 9 by 2 inch cake. One dome cake baked in a two quart bowl. Three to four cups of chocolate frosting. Two to three cups cr of crushed chocolate cookies. We combine chocolate gray ham crackers, fudge cookies, and chocolate wafer cookies. What the fuck? Gummy, wor gummy worms. Plastic rats washed and dried. Okay, what the fuck do you need the rats for? Place the dome cake on the rectangular cake. On one end, you can see the book for an example. Example? Yeah, I knew this, I knew this was part of fucking an actual goddamn cooking book. Securing with frosting. Cover the cakes with the frosting, then sprinkle on the cookie crumbles. It would've been, it would've been nice though if there are actual pictures in this shit so you can actually see the damn example. Cover the cakes with the frosting, then sprinkle on the cookie crumbles. Crumbs. Decorate with the gummy worms and plastic rats. For safety, remove the toys before serving. Serves 12 to 14. Those tip. How to bake a dome cake. For a dome shaped cake, bake your cake batter in a one and a half quart oven proof bowl. Stainless steel or Pyrex for 45 to 55 minutes. I still don't get what the fuck, what a fuck dirt cake is. Which is so Try as well. Which is this? Chwaz. Chwaz. Pichy Swaz. I don't know what that is. Let's see. No. No. Five cups peeled chopped all purpose potatoes. Three cups thinly sliced leeks. Use the white and two inch inches of the green. One and two thirds cups of chicken broth. Five cups water. One teaspoon salt. One half. A half a teaspoon of white pepper, a half of a half of cup heavy green cream, and chopped chives optional. In a soup pot, add the potatoes, leeks, broth, water, salt, and pepper. Ask a grown-up to help you turn the stove to simmer and cook for an hour. In batches, puree the soup and pour it into a large bowl. Stir in the cream. Serve warm or cold. Make six to eight servings. Be sure you wash the weeks thoroughly to remove any sand. That's pretty easy to figure that one out. Remove that? Remove that. Mm. Translator? Yeah, remove that. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one tablespoon of vinegar. 1 tablespoon prepared horseradish, 1 teaspoon paprika, 1.5 tablespoon dry mustard, a half teaspoon salt, 4 teaspoon pepper, dash of hot sauce, 2 green onions sliced, a half stalk celery sliced, 2 tablespoons chopped fresh parsley, 1 clove garlic halved, 2 pounds medium cooked in the veen shrimp, lettuce leaves, or mixed salad greens. God damn, this shit takes a so lot. It doesn't even take that long to finish, goddamn. Add everything but shrimp and lettuce into a blender or food processor. 
when until smooth and put in the refrigerator to chill. Put shrimp onto lettuce or greens, pour mixture over and serve. I still don't even know what the fuck remoulade is. Cherry cheesecakes. One fourth cups chocolate graham cracker crumbs, a half cup sugar divided, a third cup butter or margarine melted, 12 ounces cream cheese softened, two teaspoons of grated lemon peel, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two cups of whipped topping, one 20 ounce can cherry pie filling. In a medium mixing bowl, combine the graham cracker crumbs, one a fourth cup of sugar and the butter on margarine mixing well. Firmly press the crumb mixture into the bottom of a muffin pan or 9 by 9 to by 2 inch baking pan. Place the pan in the refrigerator to chill while you make the cheesecake filling. In a large, uh, hold on. In a large bowl, combine the cream cheese, lemon peel, vanilla extract, and the remaining fourth a cup of sugar. Beat it, beat with an electric mixer until light and fluffy, about two minutes. Fold in a whipped topping and spread the mixture onto the chilled crust. Spread a cherry pie filling over the cheese mixture. Chill the cheesecake in the refrigerator until ready to serve. Makes nine servings. Gusto tip. This easy, no-baked treat combines the flavors of chocolate, cherries, and cheesecake, so it's bound to be a family favorite. Make it an after-school cooking project and serve it for dessert at dinner time. After-school project, the hell? This is probably gonna take a full week now. Mock, mock turtle soup? Half cup oil, half pound beef chopped, half pound pork roasted, roast chopped, half pound chicken chopped, 3 fourths cup flour, 1 cup onion chopped, a half cup green onions finely chopped, a half cup fresh garlic finely chopped, 2 tablespoons celery finely chopped, 10 cups meat stock, half cup tomato sauce, salt to taste, hot sauce to taste. In a large heavy pot, heat the oil over medium heat. Add in all the meat and cook until brown. Set the meat aside after taking it out of the pot. Add flour into the pot and serve with the meat's juices. Cook until it is dark brown. This is called roux. 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 Add the onion, then stir and repeat this when adding in the green onions, parsley and celery to the... Translator. Raw. Roux. Take it roux. Roux. Roux into to the roux and cook until the onions are clear. Add one cup beef stock and stir to form a thick paste. Stir in the tomato sauce. Add the remaining stock, stir, then add the cooked meats and finish with salt and hot sauce. Set the heat low and cover the pot. Let the soup simmer for an hour. Serves ten to twelve. There's still forty of these. We read a lot of this shit. <clears throat> Tarts, Titan? Or. How much? English? So one. Two. Three. Hmm, so need me four pages. Thirteen? Thirteen? Thirteen. Translate it. Tatan? Tatan? Hell? That was the I for then. Tatan? Four half pound, four half pounds of golden delicious apples, around 10, seven, seven tablespoons unsalted butter, half a cup plus three tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon lemon juice for the pastry, one sheet frozen puff pastry. Mm. Yeah, almost all these fucking recipes are advanced. 
Core and peel the apples and cut them in half. Cut a small slice off the sides of the apples to stand them on their sides. Melt the butter over medium heat in an oven ready skillet. Mix together sugar and lemon juice in the skillet. Place the apples into the skillet, each one next to another one, packing them as tightly as you can. Fill any gaps by cutting a piece from an apple and filling the gap. Cook the apples on medium high heat for 30 minutes or until they turn light brown and the sugar bubbles. While doing this, reheat the oven for to 425 Fahrenheit. When the apples are ready, put the skillet in the oven for 5 minutes. Following the package directions to defrost the pastry. Trim the pastry as needed so it will fit over the skillet without corners. When the apples are done, remove them and turn the oven up to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Put the pastry over the skillet and use a small knife to tuck the edges in between the apples and the skillet sides. Put it all into the oven and bake for 20 minutes or until the pastry turns a light brown. Move when finished and let cool for 15 minutes. Invert the skillet, replacing any apples that shifted during the flip and then serve while it's still warm. Hmm. Yeah, regular tart, I guess. Classic baguette. Baguette. The hell? Tip, when you make a fucking bread? Am I making bread now? One tablespoon active dry yeast. One and a half cups of warm water. Three and three, three fourths to four and a half cups. One and a half cups flour. One and a half teaspoon salt. Two tablespoons cornmeal. Yeah, I think this, I'm pretty sure this is fuck. It is fucking bread. What the hell? In a small bowl, dissolve the yeast in a half cup of the water. Pour the remaining water into a large bowl and add one cup of the flour and the salt. Add the yeast mixture and enough flour to form a soft dough. Turn the dough on out onto a lightly floured surface and knead for ten minutes. Then knead. Then. Grease a large bowl with oil and drop the dough in, turning a coat to the top. Cover it with plastic wrap or damp cloth and let it rise in a draft-free area for 2 hours, or until the dough doubles in size. Punch the dough down and divide it in half. On a lightly floured surface, knead each half several times and roll into a snake. Pinch out any hair bubbles, then place the snacks on a cookie sheet coated with the cornmeal. Cover and let rise until double, about one hour. Heat the oven to 425 degrees. Place a metal pan on the bottom rack and pour one cup of hot water into the pan. This will create the steam to give your bread a crunchy crust. Using a sharp knife, make four diagonal one-fourth fourth inch cuts into the top of the loaves. Place the loaves in the oven. Bake for 20-25 minutes. Remove from the oven and cool. These loaves are best eaten the day they are made or frozen. Makes two loaves. Gustave's tip. Classic French bread or the baguette bakes in a long narrow loaf pan, which is available at kitchen supply stores. If you don't have one, you can get almost the same crisp brown crust and hot white interior by baking the bread on a cookie sheet. Cookie sheet. <laughs> ooh la, ooh la la. The ooh la la French toast, the fuck? <clears throat> yeah, I need some fucking water. Four eggs, one half cup milk, one teaspoon vanilla extract, two tablespoons butter or oil, for pan, eight slices dense bread. In a shallow bowl or pie plate, beat the eggs, then mix in the milk and vanilla extract. Ask a grown-up to help you heat the butter in a frying pan over medium heat. Soak the slices of bread in the egg mixture, turning once. It should be saturated but not falling apart. Brown the bread in the skillet, turning once. About 2-3 to three minutes on each side. Serves 4. <laughs> the best French toast is made from dense, densest bread. Try chava brioche or sourdough. <coughs> okay. C'est magnifique. C'est magnifique. C'est magnifique sal salmon. Four six ounce salmon steaks, one inch thick, half a lemon. Quick dill sauce. 
one a half cup sour cream, a fourth cup mayonnaise, two tablespoons milk, one and a half teaspoons dill, one small garlic clove, crushed salt and pepper. In a small bowl, whisk the sour cream, mayonnaise, and milk until creamy. Add a dill, garlic, and salt and pepper to taste. Stir well. Set aside. Preheat your broiler or grill. Rinse the salmon steaks and pat them dry. Squeeze the lemon over the steaks and sprinkle with salt and pepper. Broil or grill the steaks 3 inches from the heat for 8 to 10 minutes, or until the fish has turned from a bright pink to a pale orange. Serve with dill sauce serves 4 to 6. Gusto's tip. Whether you're shopping at your local grocers or a fish market, always look for the freshest fish. It should have a firm, moist flesh and a sweet smell. Never a fishy smell, which is a sure sign of aging. Mm. I thought the fish was supposed to smell like fish. What the hell? Oven baked french fries. 4 medium idaho potatoes. A fourth cup olive oil. Salt to taste. Heat the oven to 425 degrees. Peel the potatoes and slice them into about 10 wedges. Dry off any excess starch with paper towels. In a baking dish, toss the potatoes with the oil, with the oil to coat. Bake for 25 minutes, turning at least once. Add salt to taste, mix for servings. Hmm. Hell is for sure. Filet, mi filet mignon. Why is that? Why is that soft though? Why, why the hell did I have heard that one before? Filet mignon. <coughs> why the hell did I have heard that one before? <coughs> one beef tender one. One, one, uh, one, one and a half, a half to two pounds trim. Poaching liquid, two quarts beef stock, two carrots peeled, two stalks celery, one small onion peeled, one bunch parsley, one bunch fresh tarragon. Some onion sauce, six egg yolks, two teaspoons. Your she your chest is shy. What is that? Your chest is shy, Dal. One cup beef stock, two teaspoons reserved tarragon seasoning. Yeah, your your chest is shy sauce. One tablespoon tarragon vinegar. Mushrooms. One pound mushrooms. After one pound wild mushrooms such as such as chantarelles or morels. 4 tablespoons unsalted butter. For the poaching liquid, thinly slice the carrots, the onion and cut the celery in small pieces. Take the leaves off of this parsley and keep the stem stems. You won't need the leaves here, but you can save them for something else if you like. Pull the leaves off the tarragon stems and mince them fin finely and reserve for making the sauce. Put the stems aside. Cut off the mushrooms caps and save them for later, and set the stems aside. In a heavy stock pot, 6 quarts in is good, put in mushroom stems. Add the beef stock, onions, carrots and celery. Squeeze the parsley stems to bring out their juices before adding them into the stock pot. Put in the tarragon stems. Put the stock pot on low heat and bring the poaching liquid to a full simmer. Add in beef tenderloin carefully into the stock. Poached uncovered for 14 to 18 minutes. If you have a meat tender thermal thermometer, poach until the internal temperature is 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the beef from stock and place in an oven to keep warm. Keep one cup of the stock to make the sauce. So this, for the sabayon, simmer one cup of the stock in a small pan placed on low heat. For the next step, you need a bain-marie, bain-marie, bain-marie. I know. To make one, follow these directions. Place a mixing bowl over a pan of water, but do not let the bottom of the mixing bowl touch the water. This will help you control the heat. Put egg yolks and Worcestershire sauce into the mixing bowl. Whisk them together and add the minced tarragon and vinegar. Slowly add the hot sto stock and continue mixing until the mixture thickens and becomes frothy. Put the mix into a double boiler and keep warm about 110 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And then it's a long one. Cut the mushroom caps into thin slices over medium heat. Melt the butter in the saute pan. Add the mushroom slices when the butter begins to turn pale brown. Shake the pan to move the mushrooms around to saute them. 
Keep doing this until mushrooms are tender about 2-3 to three minutes. Cut the beef tenderloin into 8 or more slices. Serve the beef with the saute, sauteed mushroom caps on a platter. Top the beef and mushrooms with some sabayon sauce. And leave the rest to the side to add during the meal. Provide 6 to 8 servings. Damn, that's a big one. Chicken. Lorange? Lorange? Hmm. Cheers, Vera. No, no, orange, 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 no orange, no orange. I see. Chicken al orange. One tablespoon vegetable oil. Or skinless, boneless chicken breast, two and a half cups orange juice, three tablespoons cornstash, a half cup hot water, three tablespoons honey, a fourth teaspoon ground ginger. Put the oil in the skillet on medium heat. Add the chicken and cook until brown and the juices become clear. Add orange juice. Mix the cornstash in hot water until it dissolves. When orange juice starts to simmer and bubble around the edge, Add the cornstash water mix. In a separate cup, mix the honey and ground ginger, then add to the skillet. Continue to cook until the sauce becomes slightly brown and thick, then serve. Get them just three more, three more pages of these. Alright, now we start doing progress. Salad, Nikos? Nikos? Hold on. Niquas. Salad Niquas. Salad Niquas. So, or something like that. One head of romaine lettuce. Romaine. One can of white tuna drained. Ten cherry tomatoes. Two hard boiled eggs. Olives such as Niquas. Green beans steamed. Anchovies optional. To prepare the lettuce, cut one and a half inches off the stem end of the romaine head and discard. Break the leaves off and wash in cold water. Place in a salad spinner and spin until dry, or pat dry with paper towels. Arrange on individual salad plates and as shown. Next, prepare the toppings for the salad. Peel the eggs and slice each one into four wedges. Wash the tomatoes and cut in half. Arrange chunks of the tuna, or boiled eggs, tomatoes, olives, and green beans on top of the lettuce. Add the anchovies if you're feeling adventurous. See the next recipe for delicious dressing. What? Next one? D Dijon vinaigrette? No, that's vinegar. Dijon. Fuck. Thanks, Lara. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah that, was, that was actually pretty close. Dijon vinaigrette. One third cup red wine vinegar, one, a half cup olive oil, a half cup vegetable oil, one crushed garlic clove, a half teaspoon thyme, two teaspoons Dijon mustard, four teaspoon salt, an eighth teaspoon coarse black pepper. Combine all the ingredients in a clean jar with a tight fitting lid. Shake well, mix one and third cups. Pour the Dijon vinaigrette over the salad to sauce or serve it on the side for dipping. Serves for try it on the salad Nikos for a great combination. Uh, so it was really ne the next one. Oh, I need to fucking clean my nose. Please. Chocolate rats. Now, one cup semi-sweet semi chocolate chips, 
one tablespoon vegetable shortening, 48 dried apricots, one scours, 48 M&M's minis. Do you even have the right M&M's? No. Black shoestring licorice whiskers, 48 dry roasted peanut halves ears. Place the chocolate chips in shortening in a microwave safe bowl. Bowl and microwave on high for one minute. Stir and microwave for one minute more. Stir until smooth. For each rat, press together two dried apricots, making a small point for the rat's nose and thread them onto a skewer. Dip them in the melted chocolate and place on a wax paper wind baking sheet. Use a second skewer to push the rat off the first skewer. Use your finger to tape to cover the hole left behind with chocolate. Add M&M's minis for the eyes, uh, shoestring licorice for the whiskers, Tootsie, Tootsie Rolls or any other pliable candy such as Starbust or Soft Taffy for the tail and peanuts for the ears. We broke each peanut half in half again. Refrigerate until hardened. Makes 24. I don't, I don't know how uh, Martin, the copyright shit works. I'm pretty, pretty sure that to, uh, I don't know. Pay some rights, pay some rights to me even say those names. I don't know. Crazy cheese straws. One and a half cups for six tablespoons butter, soften. Two cups grated cheddar cheese. One and a half cups grated Parmesan and or Roma Romano cheese. One egg, a fourth cup milk. Heat the oven to 400 degrees. Grease two baking sheets. Have a grown-up melt help you boil the flour, butter, and cheeses in a food processor fitted with a metal boil. Pulse for about one minute until the butter and cheese are evenly distributed into the flour. Add the egg and pulse until it's incorporated. The processor running. Pour the milk through the the feed tube through the, the feed tube and blend until the dough forms a ball. About a minute. If the dough feels sticky, add a bit more parmesan or romano. Place half of the dough on a floored work surface. With a rolling pin, roll out the dough until it's roughly an uh, eighth inch thick. And then trim it into a rectangle. Next, cut the pastry into strips about four inches long and a half, in and a half inch wide. Twist the strips and place them on a baking sheet, two inches apart. Repeat the process until all the dough has been used. Bake the sticks for 8 to 10 minutes until they're lightly browned. Store them in an airtight container for up to one a week. Makes about 60. <laughs> Still 15 more. French breakfast muffins? 2 cups flour, 2, th uh, two thirds cup sugar, 2 and a half teaspoons baking powder, a half teaspoon salt, a 4 teaspoon nutmeg, one large egg, one cup plus, two tablespoons milk, six tablespoons unsalted butter, melted and slightly cooled, one teaspoon vanilla extract, cinnamon sugar coating, two tablespoons unsalted butter, melted and slightly cooled, a half cup sugar, a half teaspoon ground cinnamon. God damn, all these fucking recipes are advanced. What the fuck is even the point of that, that uh, uh, warning? Heat the oven to 375 degrees. Butter the cups of a 12 cup muffin pan and set aside. Measure and whisk the flour, sugar, baking powder, salt and nutmeg into a large mixing bowl. In a medium sized bowl, whisk the egg until it's frothy. Blend in the milk, melted butter and vanilla extract. Make a well in the dry ingredients and pour in the liquid mixture. Using a wooden spoon, mix the batter until it's evenly blended. Then spoon it into the muffin cups, filling each about two thirds full. Bake the muffins on the center rack for about 20 minutes. Transfer the pan to a rack and let it cool for fi 5 minutes, then remove the muffins from the pan. Meanwhile, prepare the topping by stirring the sugar and the cinnamon together in a bowl. In a separate bowl, melt the butter. Set both bowls next to the muffins, working with one muffin at a time. Quickly dip the tops in the melted butter and then in the cinnamon sugar, rolling each one to cover the entire muffin top. Serve immediately. 
Cousteau's tip, how to make muffins. To prevent sticking, rub a dab of butter in each muffin cup. Use a paper napkin so your hands don't get gooey. Spoon the batter into the muffin cups. Fill each one about uh, two thirds full. Set the cinnamon sugar bowl and the melted butter bowl next to the muffins. Dip the muffins first in the butter, then in the cinnamon topping. Yeah. I thought I was actually using these damn recipes. <coughs> yeah, I doubt Angel was like, oh, hey guy, what if, man, why do you know the recipe? And, uh, I played Ratatouille on PSP, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Creme brûlée, 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 creme brûlée. Creme brûlée, 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 yeah, creme brûlée. Two cups heavy cream, five egg yolks, a half cup sugar, one tablespoon vanilla extract, a half cup or so of light brown sugar. Preheat the oven to 275. Mix cream, yolks, sugar and vanilla in a bowl with a whisk until it's smooth and creamy. Pour evenly into small ceramic bowls. Ceramics are ideal. Poise the ceramic bowls into a baking pan. Fill the pan halfway up the sides of the bowls with hot water. Place in oven for 45 minutes. Check with a knife. If the knife comes out clean, remove from oven. If not, check again for 10 minutes. Remove bowls from the pan and let cool for 5, 15 to 10, 20 minutes. Alright, that was pretty uh, short. Chicken Cordouble. Cordouble. Translator. Cordouble. Cordouble. Yeah, blue. Like, that's blue, right? Blue. Yeah, cordon blue. Two bonus chicken breasts, each cut in half. Four thin one ounce slices ham. Four slices Swiss cheese. Four tablespoon corn stash. Four tablespoon butter. Half. Stick. Fourth tables. Uh, fourth tables teaspoon salt. A, a eighth teaspoon fresh regrowed black pepper. Put each chicken breast half between plastic wrap sheets and pound it out to around 9 inches diameter with a flat mallet. You'll want it very thin, but not so thin that holes form. Put one slice of ham and cheese on one half of each piece of chicken and fold the chicken over, covering them up and then press the edges of the chicken to seal it. Wrap again in plastic and then pound very lightly or press down to remove any trapped air. Lightly sprinkle both sides of the chicken with cornstash. Melt butter into a skillet on high heat. Cook the meat about 3 minutes per side until tender. Season with salt and pepper and serve. Mm, how many more? Yeah, just a few more. Like French onion soup. 8 cups onions sliced thin, 3 tablespoons flour, 3 quarts beef stock, a half cup butter, 1 stick, 1 tablespoon salt, 1 teaspoon pepper, 1 cup water, grated cheese, gruyere, bread, French bread, grated cheese, parmesan, enough for bread, olive oil, enough for bread, yeah. In a Dutch oven, melt the butter and then add the onions. Stir frequently. Cook until the onions are soft, about 5-7 to seven minutes. Stir in flour to the onions and add 2 cups of beef stock. Keep stirring until it becomes a thick mixture. Add the rest of the beef stock. 1 tablespoon of salt, the pepper and the water and stir everything. Bring to a boil, then cover and simmer for a half hour to an hour. Slice the French bread into a half inch pieces and toast them in the oven for 50 minutes at 350 degrees in the oven until they are crispy and dry. Drizzle the bread with olive oil and top with grated parmesan. Put the bread under a broiler for a couple minutes to melt the cheese. 
To serve, put the soup into soup bowls and top it off with a thick layer of Gruyere cheese. And bring it out with a side of the French bread, or use the French baguette recipe for an extra special homemade dish. Mm. Right, combining this combining recipes and shit. Alright, what else? Colette, Colette's apron cake. One big 13 by 9 by 2 inch cake. Two to two and a half cups of white frosting. Pale green sour strips or fruit leather. Leather. Kids' kitchen uten utensils, wooden spoons or whisk, blue decorators icing. Set the baked cake on a serving platter. Cut away the upper corners of the cake to form an apron shape. Frost the cake with a white frosting. Stick the sour strips into the top of the cake to form the neck strap and into the sides of the cake to form the apron strings. Stick the kids cooking utensils into the apron in the lower left side of the cake. Using the blue decorator's icing in a writing tip, outline the shape of the pocket with the utensils poking out of the top. Form the pocket with a mound of decorator's icing. Smooth it out well and add a sour strip. Use the icing to write what's cooking on the apron. Serves 10 to 12. <laughs> and this still, this recipe still needs uh, grown-ups. Yeah, I can kind of see it. <laughs> <clears throat> I doubt any kids know how to make a fucking cake. Without making a fucking mess of it. Graving Daphnoids? That's what it. Daphnoid? Du Graton du Finois. Graton du Finois. Three pounds baking potatoes, such as roussettes, peeled and very thinly sliced. Two cups whole milk, three garlic cloves, minced, three fourth teaspoon salt, three bay leaves, ground nutmeg, pepper, one cup heavy cream, two cups freshly grated Gruyere cheese. Preheat oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Cover the potatoes with milk and 2 cups water in a large saucepan. Mix in garlic, salt and bay leaves. Over medium high heat, bring to a boil. Prevent the potatoes from sticking to the bottom by stirring on occasion. Once it reaches a boil, lower heat to medium and cook for 10 minutes or until the potatoes are tender. Move half of the potatoes, not the juice, to a large grating dish or oven safe pan. Top with nutmeg, pepper, a half cup of the heavy cream, and one cup of the grated cheese. Cover with the other half of the potatoes. Top with more nutmeg, pepper, and the rest of the cream and cheese. Put the pan in the oven uncovered and bake for an hour or until it turns crisp and golden brown on the top. Serve right away for six to eight servings. Hmm. Quick enough, I guess. Berin? Berin? Or Berin? No, I don't think it's Berin. Berin? Berin cookies. Two large eggs whites, a half cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. 3 tablespoons unsweet sweet, sweetened cocoa powder, a half cup semi sweet chocolate chips. Mix the egg whites, the egg whites in a large bowl with a high speed mixer until they can form stiff peaks. Mix in sugar slowly, about one tablespoon at a time. Mix in vanilla extract. Reduce mixing speed to low. Then add in the cocoa powder. Carefully mix in the chocolate chips with a spatula using a spoon drop drops on the mixture onto full covered baking sheets bake at 250 degrees for one hour turn off the oven but leave cookies inside for another two hours with the oven door closed remove from pan and serve or, or store in a sealed container right. still still a few more these fondue yeah, fondue. 
12 ounce Swiss cheese or cheddar, gruyere or a combination, 4 tablespoons flour, 4 teaspoon paprika, 4 teaspoon ground nutmeg, 1 garlic clove, 3 tablespoons butter, 2 fourths or 2 halves a cup milk, juice from a lemon, salt, pepper to taste, dippers such as French bread, carrots, peppers, broccoli or cherry to tomatoes. First, grate the cheese into a bowl. Toss with one tablespoon of the flour. Set aside. In a separate bowl, stir together the remaining three tablespoons of flour, paprika and nutmeg. Peel the garlic clove. Next, cut the clove in half and rub the cut sides on the inside of a medium-sized saucepan until the bottom and sides are completely seasoned. Melt the butter in the pan over medium-low heat and stir in the flour mixture until it is smooth. This is called a rom. I think it's a rom. Pronounce it. Oh, now you're giving the fucking pronunciation. What the shit? Now you give me the fucking pronunciation of it. It would have been nice before. It serves as the base that will help the fondue thicken. Add the milk one cup at a time and stir constantly until the sauce is creamy and warm. Next, add the grated cheese by the handful, stirring well after each addition. Continue until the cheese is used up and the sauce is thoroughly combined. Once the cheese has melted, stir in the lemon juice and salt and pepper to taste. Meanwhile, prepare the dippers from the fondue. Cut the bread into cubes. Cut the vegetables into bite-sized pieces and stem for a few minutes, if desired to bring out the flavor. Arrange the vegetables on a large platter and the bread cubes in a basket or bowl. Power, pour the fondue into a fondue pot. Invite everyone to spear, spear the bread or vegetables on their fondue forks and dip them into the cheesy sauce. Serves 8 people as an appetizer or 4 as a main course. Main course? The hell? I don't think I'll be satisfied with fucking fondue for, for dinner and shit. But still still. This milk based fondue is milder than the traditional Swiss cheese fondue, which contains wine. If you don't like the strong taste of Swiss, substitute cheddar or a mixture of cheddar and Swiss. Cruc Monsieur? Cruc Monsieur? Monsieur? That it? Croc Monsieur. Yeah, I forgot the, the U. I forgot the U. There we go. Yes, yeah, same thing. Croc Monsieur. <coughs> Two slices of white bread. Two thin slices of switch or cheddar cheese. One thin slice of deli, deli ham. Cooking oil for the pan, one egg, half tablespoon milk, pinch of salt, three fourths tablespoon butter. Layer one slice of bread with one slice of cheese followed by both slices of ham. The last piece of cheese. Add the second piece of bread. Use a piece of paper to towel to rub an unheated heavy skillet with a little cooking oil. Ask a grown up to help you place the skillet over moderate heat. As the skillet heats, whisk the egg, milk, and salt in a shallow bowl until frothy. Melt the butter in the pan. As it melts, dip one side of the sandwich in the egg batter, and then dip the other side. Immediately place the sandwich in the pan. Grill the sandwich on the first side for about 3 minutes until golden brown. Then flip it with a spatula and grill it on the second side for another 3 minutes. Using a spatula, Transfer the sandwich from the pan to a plate. Slice it in half and serve. Makes one. Not a dinner, I see. Eiffel Tower cookie sundae? Well, what is this, ice cream? Sugar waffles, white frosting, yeah, ice cream. Option. Why is the fuck optional? I'm pretty sure ice cream is, isn't optional for a fucking sundae. Chocolate sauce. Build an Eiffel Tower on your plate using your sugar wafers as your building blocks and frosting as your cement. You will need to cut some cookies into small shapes so your tower stands. Make a French flag by drawing one on paper using markers or crayons. 
and cut it out and tape or glue it to a hole or a half toothpick depending on how tall you want it to stand. Add the flag to the top of the tower. Serve it with a scoop of ice cream and chocolate sauce if desired. Okay. Okay, so what the fuck is it? Why the fuck is it a Sunday day? Then. Crab Louis. Hmm. 3 fourth cup mayonnaise, 4 cup chili sauce, 2 tablespoons minced parsley, 2 teaspoons vinegar, a half teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, a fourth teaspoon horseradish, 1 pound crab meat, lettuce leaves. That's it. Mix the vinegar, chili sauce, mayonnaise, Worcestershire sauce, and horseradish together with parsley. Add the crab meat and serve briefly. Chill in the refrigerator and serve on the lettuce. Th that's it. Okay, that's pretty simple. Tapenade. Tapenade. Honestly. Nadman. Tapenade. Yeah. A half pound of pitted mixed olives. Two anchovy, anchovy fillets rinsed. One small clove garlic minced. Uh, two tablespoons capers, two and two to three fresh basil leaves, one tablespoon freshly squeezed lemon juice, two tablespoons extra virgin olive oil. Wash the olives in cool water. Place everything into a food processor. Blend ingredients, though stop occasionally to scrape the sides of the processor bowl. Continue for a minute or two until the mixture becomes a coarse paste. Place tapenade, tapenade in bowl and serve. Alright. Pizza rats. Pizza rat style. Pizza sauce, English muffins, black olives, scallions, cheese sticks or slices. Heat a toaster oven to 350 degrees. Using a pizza slicer, cut an English muffin half into a triangle, as shown. Spread a tablespoon of pizza sauce onto the wedge. Set round olive oil slices in a place for eyes and a nose. Add round slices of green onion for pupils and lay strips of cheese. Use this pull pulled apart cheese stick across the muffin for the rat's fur. Bake for about 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted for the muffin and the men. What? Bake for about 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted and the muffin is toasty. Right. Okay, I see, I see. Eclair? Eclair. I think that's how you say it. I already have, I already have a, a feeling that the last one is going to be fucking ratatouille. Yeah, eclair. One cup water, half cup butter, one cup flour, four eggs. Chocolate sauce. 6 ounce semi sweet chocolate chips, 1 third cups canned milk, a half cup butter, 1 stick, 2 cups powdered sugar, 1 teaspoon vanilla. Filling 2 packets of instant French vanilla pudding, 2 and a half cups milk, 8 ounce whipped cream, 1 teaspoon vanilla. Boil water and butter. Remove from heat and stir in flour until it's thick enough to form a ball. Add eggs and mix thoroughly until dough is very stiff. Scoop out by the teaspoon onto a cooking sheet. Close enough to allow it to bake together. It can form a strip or other shapes. Bake at 400 degrees for 45 minutes. Allow to cool slowly. Chocolate sauce. Melted chocolate chips and butter, mixing them. Slowly mix in milk and powdered sugar. Bring to a boil while stirring. Let boil for 8 minutes. Remove from heat and mix in the vanilla. Filling. Mix the pudding and milk well. Add in whipped cream and vanilla. Cut the eclair in half and fill with, with the, the filling. Put the two halves back together and top with chocolate sauce. Right. Yeah, I knew it. The last one's fucking right there too. Colette's crap. Crap paste. Crabs. 3 eggs, 1.5 cups milk, 1 cup plus, 2 tablespoons flour, 1 tablespoon sugar, a fourth teaspoon salt, 2 tablespoons melted butter. Put all the ingredients in a blender in the order listed and blend until smooth. Remove the lid and scrape down the sides with a rubber spatula. 
briefly blend the mixture again. Set the covered blender in the refrigerator for 30 minutes or even overnight. When it's time to cook the crepes, use a paper towel to spread about 1 teaspoon of butter or vegetable oil in the bottom of an 8 or 9 inch shallow non-stick frying pan and place over medium heat. Blend the batter again to smooth it. For the first crepe, pour a, four, a fourth or a third cup of batter into a measuring cup to gauge how much to use. For the rest of the crepes, pour approximately that much batter right from the blender. Cook each crepe following the steps at right. Adjust the heat if they brown too quickly or too slowly. Makes 12 crepes. Crepe filling. Jam and cream cheese, mini chocolate chips and banana slices, a towel and ice cream. Gusto's tip. How to cook and flip a crepe. Pour the batter into your heated pan, well to one side. Immediately tilt and swirl the pan to evenly coat the bottom. This should take about 5 seconds. Cook the crepe on the first side for about 45 seconds. Then quickly flip it with a spatula and cook the other side for about half as long. Grasping the pan securely, swiftly invert it so the cooked crepe will fall onto a large plate. Rub a little butter in the pan before cooking the next crepe. Alright, final. Last one. Gusto's Ratatouille. One large eggplant cube, a fourth to a third cup olive oil, one onion thinly sliced, one red or green pepper chopped, two to four crushed garlic cloves, four small zucchini chopped, four tomatoes chopped, salt and pepper to taste, a third cup chopped fresh basil, basil parmesan cheese. Salt the eggplant, drain in a cone for an hour and pat dry. Heat half of the oil in a large saucepan and briefly saute the eggplant until brown. Then add the onion and pepper. Next add the garlic, zucchini and tomatoes. Cook until a soft stew has formed, about 15 to 10, 30 minutes. Add the salt, pepper and basil. Sprinkle with the cheese and serve. You can freeze leftovers. Serves for. We're still stiff. This French Mediterranean stew is meant to be served over rice. So that's why, man. man. The last time I fucked, last time I served, I was served this shit. It was missing the damn rice. Mm. But yeah, finally, goddamn. <coughs> Hold on, let me uh, take out the music. Goddamn, that took fucking forever. Alright, is there anything else that I need to show off as well? That sounds kind of nice. Yeah. That's impressive. Is there anything else? Cheats? Hey, hold on. There might be a list of it. Let me let me see if there's anything interesting to show. I doubt there is. Come on, well, let's see here. Stove shop. We should sure is not even for the PSP version. Okay, hold on. Two. Need to clean out my nose again. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these aren't these aren't even from the PSP version. They are from the other versions. Mm, let's see. All branded? That was all branded. All recipes, all videos, all 
health restores to full. Bouncy cheese. Cannot boo and easy enemies. Enemies cause no damage. Multiplayer race. Rat rat rap. What the fuck is a rat lap? Now let's see what rat wrath is. That didn't even do anything. I don't think it did anything. Hold on, let's see if I let's see if anything changed. Doesn't look like it now. I don't even get what the fuck these things do. Yeah, there's nothing. There's not much. Nothing interesting, I guess. There is a cheese to get nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine cheese. That's pretty. That's pretty much it. Yeah, there's nothing else. There's nothing interesting here. Alright. Mm, yeah, we should, I think we should have enough time to do Sonic Heroes. Mm, and I think there's not, there's not gonna be a need to uh, change the, the stream's frame rate. Because I'm pretty sure the game doesn't go higher than 60. Alright. Maybe just uh, head back here. thing out of here uh, and uh, we'll be right back now I'm gonna be doing some extra stuff in the background to set things up all right be right back
And we are back. Now, let's see if everything's working here. Yep. Now we're back to now we're back to the to the new model. <laughs> mm, yeah, I think that's good. Right. Uh, Everything should be working now. Right, let's see if this decides to work first try. Hopefully. Because I already have the, this thing all set up now. I just hope that hopefully the fucking Elgato thing doesn't crap out on me. Hey, come on, turn on. Turn on, come on. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. Great, this thing doesn't want to work. No, no, I'm scared that if I if I uh, press this thing, it might it might cause the OBS to crash. Okay, let's see if I. Activate, deactivate, uh, uh, fixes it. There we go. There we go, now it's working. <laughs> yeah, it just took a little bit of finesse, that's all. Right now I need to uh, fix up this thing to actually match. Wrong one. Here's the microphone now to fucking switch. There we go. There we go. Much better. Double checking, making sure that it's not hyper delay like it was last time. Fuck me. Mm. And then checking for audio. I think it's playing a little early. Hold on. Let's see. Filters. Let's try. Let's try this. Nope. Uh, Two hundred. Let's try no delay at all. See how much it is. 
Right. Uh, 350. 200? 250? Right, all good. Just making sure. Right. Once I go into the game, it should end up fixing it. It should fix up the the thing. Yeah, probably. Also, I do notice something. When I'm using the PS2, it doesn't use as much CPU. Hmm. It's probably because I think the game, the when it cap when it's capturing the thing, I think it only goes like 480. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay, now hopefully it should be lined up properly. What the fuck? Why am I not getting any audio? You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm not getting any audio, what the fuck? God damn it, restart. The fuck, it was working. Audio was working just fine when I was testing it. Come on. Let's see if it works this time. There we go. Mm, I don't know if I make the game water or... We should probably make it so that it probably hits the yellows. Yeah, that that should do it. Let me check uh, again for the audio. Yep, all good. Alright. Mm. Yeah, right, not bad. Okay, what was the extra thing? Oh right, right. Right, it's also it shows all the uh, the cutscenes and shit. I don't really show that off, I just playing the game only last time, which was like I don't know, a year ago. That was the audio room. From the music I think? Missing some stuff though. Probably from the other collectibles. Yeah, probably. Alright. Right, finished off the story properly. I think it's showing me 100% and everything. But uh, to fully 100% uh, Sonic Hughes, you have to make sure that this thing shows up. Okay, for that, uh, we need to get A ranks on every single level with every single team yeah every single fucking team and not only does it normal version of the level there's also a hard version as well yeah that's gonna be fun 
way. Uh, I, I have a rank on this one as well, but I did that for like a test, so I'm gonna show this one, show this one off again. Because uh, in uh, when I tested out, I had a B rank instead, instead of an A. Going to the right. Touch the checkpoint and restart from that spot when you lose a life. Each checkpoint increases the leader's level too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now we get to on the on the game soundtrack. Got it. Can you break this rock, Knuckles? Not bad. Yeah. Up. Leave it to Dave. Look out, Dave. Yes. Got it. All right. Nice. Level up. Look at all those robots. You. Let's leave it Level up. Got it. It's more you ranking up a shit ton of lives, goddamn. Take this! Take this! Leave it to me! Level up! Here we go! Not go. bad! One. Some of the submerged Three. sea ruins Four. move when you get close to them. Level up! Got it! Take this! Okay. Leave it to me! I risk it back there. Too Let's cool! Let's leave this Keep pressing the X button to ascend while flying. Press the X button repeatedly to ascend quickly. Okay, good so far. Yeah, you know, just in order to get an area, you have to make sure you have to make sure you go through the entire level without dying, because uh, when you die you lose all your uh, all your points and shit. Let's head up there. Okay, you have to go. Okay. So you have to make sure you don't die at all. Let's leave it's a lot, it's a lot easier said than done, though, down because the game fingers. does tend to glitch out of sometimes. Like that. Ugh. Got it. Take this, take this. Here we go. Uh, yes. Where the fuck okay. else? What the fuck did I end up missing that thing? Got it. Take this. Take this. Yeah, fucking hit him. Bitch. Here we go. Or A rank is. Alright. It's either 50 or 60 hundred. I think what uh get a shit ton of points. For uh, for time as well. Not bad. Best left to tails. Nope. Sign, bitch. Let's go. Let's go. Yahoo! Here we go. Got it. All right. Take That's it. it. Here we go. Take it. Go. Yeah. Yahoo! Got it. Oh, right. So far, Knuckles, we're counting on you. No major bullshit yeah. happened just uh, yeah. yet. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Press the square button while jumping in power formation to use fire dunk. Knuckles shoots us as fireballs at the enemies. Not bad. Good so far. Whoa. Okay, good, good. Keep going, keep going. One thing that I don't right. like about this is even when you try to restart the level, uh, you use a life. I don't get that. You have, sometimes you have to fucking restart a level. You, want, you have to restart a level in order to get an interact sometimes because the game throws some bullshit. They should die. Well, 
you lose all your points. So if you fuck up, you end up using two lives, actually. One for the, for the actual death on the just restart the level. Oh, I had some, a few times where that part glitched down on me, and I just fucking died, uh, went straight to the water. I think I, uh, I think I got an A, right? Yeah, pretty sure I, I did. Yeah, definitely. I even managed to get more than the last, the last time I did Perfect. it. Hell yeah. I think, I, think uh, in the test run I, I got 65,000? Yeah, I think so. So I managed to make it more here. Sheesh. Alright, now for the uh, hard version of, of the mission. Uh, I think the hard mode version, you have to do it like a certain amount of time. Let's blast I think that's what it is. Okay. Right. Again, it's been, a, it's been a while since I, I lasted the hard version of these missions. Get to the gold ring within 5 minutes. Hmm. Well, you barely managed to get the 5 minutes in the last try. Right, so now he has to fucking gun it. But it's all it's really the same mission now you have to go a little faster. Yeah. Right. Got it. Hey guys, spread out. But I also need to make sure they you know get you enough points for the area. Right? We start from the last checkpoint you touched. The leader's level increases too. Here we go. There they are. Eggman's robot! Leave them to me, Sonic. Got it. Rock on, Knuckles! Oh. Not bad. Don't fucking do this shit again. Come on, get up there. Ah. Where are you? Yeah, see, I already, I already, I already wasted time just to, just because of that shit. Got it. Yeah. Hey guys, spread out. Come on, come on. Touch the checkpoint and we start from that spot when you lose the game is somewhat generous with actual lives, but I don't think we should be running out anytime soon. Can you break this rock now? Come on, get in there. Not bad. Come on, get in there. Yes! Got it! Six and die! Let's go! Got it! Alright! I'm already lost too much fucking time. Level I can't up. Do it. They never give up, do they? Yeah. Yeah. Go. Let's leave it to Sonic! Let's go! Alright! Press the square button during a jump while in speed uh, formation, uh, uh, and you can attack enemies uh, on the ground with blue tornadoes. Blue tornado attacks the enemies by scooping them off their feet. Level up! Level up! Let's go! Let's leave this to tails. Hold the X button to ascend while flying. Press the X button repeatedly to increase the speed of ascent. Go, 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 go. Very good, so far. Level up! Okay. Here we go! Alright! Got it! Level up! Here we go! Leave it to me! Oops. Let's head up there! Yeah! Tails, flying enemies are all yours! Attack them with thunder shoot! Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Let's go! 
There we go. Now I decide to fucking work that time. Yeah, there we go. Oh, those look like they're still fucking done that shit. Care of this. Got it. Oh, we don't. We're getting those buckles. Almost there. Almost there. Sometimes um, my controls lock. Get a shit ton of points just from the time bonus, probably. Yeah. Now let's see if it's actually enough for the A rank, though. I think it should. Yeah, we're on the same. That was tight. Hell yeah. Right, one one down for Team Sonic. That is, because again, we have to do all this shit for. All four teams. Wait, I think I already. I think I got a nail right on the next level, right? Yeah, I think so. No, I got a, a B. Let's blast through with Sonic speed. I probably okay. took two of them, probably. Or either that or I died in the middle. Ooh. A sea pounds. Looks like Eggman's robots are here too. I'm ready to take them out. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, oh, 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 this game sounds good. How the fuck did I miss? Knuckles, can you break open that stone door? <laughs> Look at all those Eggman robots. I'll take care of them. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Shut up, Sonic. Got Too cool. Where was Jay going up there? Got it. Level no up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got it. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Leave it to me. Let go. All right. Leave it to me. All right. Got it. Got it. Good. 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 Good.
If we use triangle dive, we can move all around while gliding. Let's try getting items if we can. Level up. Nice. No, don't. Okay, I only know there's gonna be an extra yeah. life here. Alright, yes, just as I thought. Right, this game also has inverted camera. Ugh, fuck's sake. I don't think I can change it. I always don't tend to use the camera that often, but still. Ugh. I never get used to inverted cameras. People. Level up! Not bad! Here we go! Level up! Alright! Here we go! Nope. This turtle is swimming with a block on his back! It looks Oops. really heavy! Well, at least he'll carry it and not us. What the fuck? How the hell did I miss it? Ugh, bullshit! A sea pouch! How the fuck did I miss Looks that cannon? Like Eggman's robots are here too! I'm ready to take them out. Got it. Level up. What the fuck? Where am I going? Why am I stopping there? You just kept going forward. I'll take care of this stone door. Here go. Take this. Got it. Ah, shit. Look at all those Eggman robots! I'll take care of them! Too cool! Come on, on hit it! The path are beginning to hit it! Hit it! We better get moving! Hey, yeah. Got it! Yeah, don't win that we much. I'm destroying these things. Come on, up there. Come on, hit. Knuckles, we're counting on you. Got it. Here we go. Look out. Look out. Yes. Make sure I don't fucking miss that damn cannon again. Nice. If we use triangle dive, we can move all around while gliding. Let's try getting items if we can. Woo. Level up. Yes, just as I thought. Okay, cool. Why does it keep going there? Get the fuck out of it. Hey. Okay. Here we go. Level up. Got it. All right. Here we go. All right. All right. Try again. This turtle is swimming with a block on his back. It looks really heavy. Well, at least he'll carry it and not. Yeah. There we go. I got it. Like that case is being protected by the robots. We should take care of them first. Yeah. Hey Sonic, can you blow up that robot shield? Good. Good. Oof. Use use it. Use it already. Fuck me. Now we get accidentally pushed off by these assholes. Yes. Leave it to me. Good. Yeah! 
Ja, ja, so ist es nicht Too cool. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. So I shoot. Oh. Got it. Oh. 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 Just use speed on this one, just keep fucking going forward, don't worry about it. Looks like its buddy has joined the party. Yeah, yeah, just keep going, keep going. Don't worry about it. There we go. Whoa! Oh, Alright, let's see if that was enough. And uh, let's see. Mm, I don't think I got enough points. Uh, yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna have enough for even from timer. Perfect. Nice. There we go. That was like sixty thousand. I think sixty thousand like is no requirement for dark team dark. Those are gonna be very fucking long levels. Right. right, I'm pretty sure the game all saves on the yeah. Right, yeah. 65 though, pretty nice. So yeah, uh, unfortunately because of all that reading that we did in Red Tattoo, we, well, we, didn't, we didn't have enough time to uh, do any, do much in Sonic Hero, but we still showed, I showed up. But uh, I will just a pinch of uh, what we're gonna be doing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's just uh, no, I think it's gonna turn off itself when I turn off the console. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for. Uh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> mm. Okay, here we go. I think that should do it. And let me just uh, turn that off. I mean, I think the Yagata should turn itself off. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Mm. There we go. Much, much better. Here we go. So yeah, that was just a tad bit smooch of what what we're gonna well I have planned for Sonic Heroes. And this is also my first time using the P using the PS2 and actually seeing the TV without relying on OBS. So yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be our know, gameplay is gonna be a lot more cleaner than uh, last time. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah. Mm, it, that's gonna be it for this session of our final session, Ratatouille on PSP, and our very first one in our 100% run in Sonic Heroes. <laughs> Did pretty good so far. I know it, again, it took a bit too long reading all that shit, Ratatouille. It just felt like it, I guess. So yeah. 
Uh, next stream shall be tomorrow and next stream shall be tomorrow where we are going to be continuing on where we left off with Doomstone in Scavenger Swap Force. Last we left off, we, uh, we had helped the shark fin uh, deal with uh, deal with this shit. Now we're gonna have, we're gonna be uh, helping out uh, the next ancient, and then hopefully finally we do some bonus missions. Yeah, hopefully. So yeah, next stream shall be tomorrow at 9:30 p.m. GMT zero, where we are gonna be continuing on with Doomstone in Swap Force. If you'd like to be notified when I go live or any other shenanigans I have mine by stream schedules or video uploads, you can go to my Discord where you'll be notified as such. Now with all that said and done, who are we gonna be raiding today? Well, let's see who's on right now, shall we? Let's see who is on. I know one perfect one. Yes, yeah, perfect for this. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, for this stream we are gonna be raiding Otaku Fango to ten. Right now, she had just um, come out of a, I think it was a subathon. Yeah, or it was a twenty. 20 yeah, no, it was a it was a twenty four hour stream. Got uh, got some rest, and now she's back doing some slime rapture too. <laughs> also, it appears that I thought, thought yesterday was a, was her birthday. Maybe it's today. Yeah, yeah. Either way. Uh, uh, you guys uh, give give Oda a merry Christ merry uh, birthday. Have yourselves a merry rest of the day, and as always, have a good one. Bye, bye bye. See ya. Have a good one. Bye, bye bye. See ya.